Hello everybody and thanks for checking out my review. Today I'm going to be going over the Lumtech M6, very unique watch. Uh, comes delivered in a plain white box as you can see with the Lumtech logo on the top. And you open up the box and you have a certificate of authenticity signed by the owner and president of the company. A guy named uh, Chris, very, very good guy. Excellent with service. And of course you have a nice leather wrap box with also the Lumtech logo on the top of that as well. And then you have the watch of course. And what he includes in the package is more than you're going to get from most manufacturers. Um, of course you're going to get your manual, you're going to get his business card, and you're going to get the international warranty uh, It's limited for one year. And of course the watch. Uh, the watch does come on a set of brown straps. Really nice. Very attractive. And he also includes an extra set of straps. Uh, these are black customized rubber. And he sends yet another set of straps. Simple black straps with the Lumtech logo on those as well. And uh, you also have the uh, ability to purchase a tungsten bracelet if, uh, if you wanted to do that as well. So uh, getting to the watch itself. This watch is from the Tungsten series. It's a 44 millimeter from the side to the crown. It's a limited edition. Um, each type of watch that he put out with the M6 had three types of designs. You had the black like this. You have a white face with the um, black, uh, I'm sorry, the numbers are blacked out so it's uh, the actual face lights up with the loom, uh, minus the numbers of course, and then he came out with a carbon file version, a uh, carbon fiber version as well. So each were limited to 100 pieces um, per. If you go to his website, I believe he still has some in stock too, which is nice. Um, like I said, the material is made of tungsten. Um, it's a very strong case. Uh, the weight is similar to 24 hour, uh, 24 karat gold. It's a very heavy watch. Um, Nice thing about tungsten is it never loses its polish. Uh, you really can't scratch it. Um, what's advertised is that you, the only thing that can really scratch tungsten is a diamond face. Um, other than that, um, I did have to send this watch in for a, a silly type of a service. Uh, when I would gotten it, there was a little speck of something on the case itself. Uh, so I sent it out to Chris and um, he basically told me what he did. He took a screwdriver and rubbed it off. It was just a piece of glue, I guess, from the final finishing there. So um, that just goes to show you a steel screwdriver, it didn't scratch it. He said he didn't have to polish it up or anything. So um, when, you, when, you, when you look at this watch, and I, I'll tell you what, photos and video just does not do it justice. It looks like it was you know, poured out of mercury. Uh, that's that's what you're holding in your hand. It's a, it's an incredible watch. Um, w one thing from the reviews that I read before I purchased this watch, um, you know, the big review was is if you're not going to find an automatic watch in tungsten case. It's 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 hard to find number one, and when you do, it's going to come in at more than a thousand. Uh, this is sub one thousand dollars. So you know, again, if you go to his website, you can see the pricing there. Um, it's a great watch. Doesn't reason he calls it loom tech is because you know he's big with the luminescence um he puts a lot of it on the numbers and you can definitely see it bright at night i'm going to include pictures of that at the end of the video for you um the crystal is a uh, sapphire crystal on both sides uh, the front of the crystal is on both sides coated with an anti-reflective coating and on the back you can see the movement the movement is Japanese. It's a uh, very similar movement to what Seiko releases with the Monster series. Um, you cannot hack or wind the movement with the exception of shaking it, of course. And that's when you'll see the movement begin going. Uh, the good thing about what Chris does is he gives you a lifetime warranty on the movement. So if you wanted to, you know, just if you found that it was a little bit too, a little, little more off the accuracy than you're comfortable with, he'll do that lifetime for free he'll 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 fix the movement for you as far as the uh, matching it up with as as close to the accuracy of your desire as you want sorry <laughs> um it's got a rear screw back uh, rear rear screw back design on the case back um it's 100 meter water resistance um he does give you a one year limited lifetime warranty 
Nice thing about this watch is it's 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 assembled in the USA, hand assembled in the US uh, by the president. I think he has a couple of employees that works with them as well. So they're a smaller company. I can definitely see them getting bigger. There's a lot of quality to their stuff, and you know if you look on the forums, if you look up, just uh, type in a Google Loom hyphen tech, um, you'll see that a lot of people have nothing but great things to say about the guy. They're very service oriented, which is you know better than you can expect from a lot of different organizations out there. One other thing uh, that you know, Chris just paid really, really good attention to detail is if you look on the leather straps, he made it nice and easy where there's a little knob here where you can pull the straps off. So you can change the straps as you desire. These are going to fit 24 millimeter strap width. So if you were looking for like a Panerai, if I'm saying it right, if you're looking for similar straps uh, there, uh, you can order the same type and it'll fit just fine. And as far as the fit goes, this is a large watch. Like I said, it is 44 millimeters. And it fits extremely well. Like I said, I like a big heavy watch. This definitely fit that description for me. When I saw it listed out there, it was something I definitely wanted. And it's not an imposing sight either. I mean, it looks a little bit bigger on the on the wrist when I'm taking photos, but it's um, a really nice watch. So, thank you very much for checking out my review. Um, I'll always uh, put it out there. If you want to see additional reviews, uh, you know, check out my page, uh, youtube.com forward slash Doug FNJ. Um, if you want to get some information from um, the Loom Tech line of watches, they have a lot of different varieties. Go to www.lum-tec.com. And I um, want to thank you again for watching my video, and uh, I hope this helps you uh, be more informed on the different types of watches that are out there. Thanks again.